it seemed like there was kind of a lull, like sort of a lull. And then at some point you joined up with the uh, Chicken Andy RV. Yeah, that was, yeah, Chicken Andy invited me to one of the strips. So you are on this RV with uh, Chicken Andy, this most current one. Yeah. And what was the vibe like? Was it like the old days? Um, it was cool. I had a good time. I was kind of too like the other group, but it's it, it was it was fun for the most part. I watched a little bit of it, and I, it seemed like a lot of new faces. Uh, how yeah. were you jiving with them? Pretty good for the most part. Um, let's see. Um, Any moments in particular stand out to you? That one time, I don't know, we got into a lot of fights, I guess. Well, other people, not with, like, within our films. Um, that's, that's probably what I remember the most. It's like the crazy-ass moments we, we went through together. At what point do you leave the Chicken Andy RV, and where were you at? Colorado? Um, St. Louis. St. Louis is when I left the RV. Um, I had a feeling like they're just, um, they're looking for, like, people that, that fit the... I don't know, I guess, whatever Chicken Andy, like his style that he was building for his, uh, his trip. So I could just tell that I was um, probably going to leave that trip. And so I, was, I already had a donation goal to where, like, if I left, then, I don't know. It just it just seemed like um, like I uh, wasn't really wanting on the trip anymore. So I was just, I was just, I kind of just left. You know. Hey. So going to New York wasn't the plan when you left. You just left with no plan. And then at what point did New York uh, come into the picture? Um, I don't know. I just had the money saved up, and I didn't want to go straight back home. And the point of the trip was to, like, I guess, like, go to New York. So that's where I was like, all right, okay. Even if it's there, even if I'm there for, like, a week or a couple of days, then I was going to fucking try to see what happens. So you get to New York. I mean, where are you staying at? Mm, where was I staying at? Um, yeah, like how did you how did you make it there once you got there? I literally just like googled like the cheapest hotel in the area and went from there. All right. Um, did you have a lot of money on your? on you at that time saved up or are you just making it day by day yeah the hotel i was paying like i was paying, I was paying it was like 150 dollars a day so it was uh pretty expensive but i was i was and still and um, for the most part was making uh like good money mm -hmm. so i wasn't like losing money so it kind of like gave me inspiration to like keep going out here because like people seem to appreciate these streams a lot more what kind of content are you doing? The same old thing or anything new to yeah. the... I guess just um, getting back into the IRL scene. You know? Just, just trying how to do you people to hang out with. How do you like the East Coast vibe compared to the West Coast vibe? A lot better. I think I gel with the people a lot more. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like it's easier for me to make friends out here. Do you think you're going to be able to uh, handle the brutal winter? Maybe. We'll see. I'll probably have to get another job because it'll be pretty hard to live stream during that time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Unless I... I don't know. I, I mean, I think there's people that do it, but you're like from Oakland, you know? Have you ever yeah, been I mean, living in cold weather? Yeah, when I was in Washington State, we in the but, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. It's like the rain. It was pretty rainy out there, you know, but obviously the snow and the cold might be a little different, you know. I mean, I'll bundle up. I'll definitely try it. But we'll see how long I can last doing that. So what? what's the biggest differences you're seeing out on the East Coast compared to the West Coast? Mm. I don't know. What's the biggest difference? I don't know, people kind of just, like, in their own world, I guess. 
they they don't really like worry about what you're doing. So like people on the West Coast might like they like focus on what you're doing too much. People on the East Coast kind of just like mind their own business. That's cool. Okay, yeah. Um, are they easier to approach on the East Coast? So. Okay. So. Or you'll you'll know like really quick like if they want to talk to you or not. You know. Right. Um, so, have you seen anything crazy there? Like any kind of uh, violence or... Uh... I have not personally, but I'm sure I will eventually. Hmm. And there's no one trying to shake you down in the street saying that, that this is their block or anything like yeah. that? That's, yeah, that's pretty cool because, like I was saying, like people kind of just mind their own business. They're not worried about me, you know? No, I like that. There's probably actually a lot of live streamers out there on the streets. Yeah. I would imagine, like yeah, a whole different, I, a whole different community. You probably, know? yeah. I mainly ran into like TikTokers and people doing Instagram videos, but I'm, there's a couple. I met a couple of YouTubers, yeah, like live streamers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the plan? Is this it? You're just trying to like get your roots in New York City. And yeah, uh, but beyond I mean, that, I mean, you're trying, you're looking to live stream and maybe get a job for the winter. Mm -hmm. You're staying in New York. Yeah. You have no plans to leave. You have no, mm -hmm. you don't, you I have don't, no plans to leave. Hopefully the donos stay good, you know. Um, I have right. a room I'm renting out here. It's affordable for the most part. And yeah, I kind of have a schedule now where I like, I go live at like 1230 or one every day and I stay out all day. And, Still, just I don't know, just trying to find cool people to talk to, you know. Oh, it's not, it's not raining now. Good. Well, okay, one Sonic, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate your time. Oh, yeah. You have a uh, good day. And, you as well, uh, man. Any more, be... no more questions? I'll no, like it.